Okay, one of the ways that you can use this chisel is as a scraper. So we've been cutting this way with it open, the flute is open, and uh, you can also use it as a scraper. So I'll show you how that works. You basically close it right over where you're going to cut, you're right at center, and it will scrape. Faster speeds work a lot easier and the debris comes right back out the flute in this direction. It's working off the slow now, but you can flatten just about anything. You'll see when I go over this part down here where it's just the turning that the chisel marks can be brought right out of it. And you can work in either direction. So you see how it's smoothing that right out. And that's one of the benefits of this grind. You can't do that with the other grinds. So I'm a little bit higher than I should be. Don't do this at home, what I'm doing. I'm going to be just a little bit below it. There, and just a little bit, I'm just about on center now. Now it'll cut a little different also. Now you can rotate it either way till you find out where it's cutting the best. And that seems to be doing a good job right there. So that's how that works. Okay, so now what I've done is I've got this pretty flat, um, flat as I need to at this point. And my chuck that I'm going to use to hold is going to be it's going to be held on the inside. This is going to be hollowed out. This will stay flat right at this point, and then this will round round in. Um, then I'm going to end up cutting a dovetail with my skew chisel and you'll see that when I bring it flat that there's an angle here. Well that's a perfect angle for being able to use for the, uh, for the chuck, for the, the teeth on the chuck. And so I'm going to bring that in probably a quarter inch, something like that. Uh, it's going to be based off of the drill bit that we, uh, sorry about that, working with a tripod here um, and hitting the foot. So the screws go in this distance, this distance the screws go in. I didn't take the tape off so that I can measure that on the outside edge, on the outside edge of the, of the piece and then measure backwards. Um, if I measure in this direction, it's going to tell me how deep that I can go here without hitting the screws on the other side. And that's real important to know that distance. So uh, it's the best way I can describe it. It's a real simple gauge. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to start pulling this over and I'm going to hollow this out and then I'll pick you up in different parts.
come back to that. That's a little low. If you pull, if you're pulling into this and this side's higher, it's going to grab. So go to a point. <coughs> Boy, pardon me. Go to a point just before this ridge and then come back into it. Rub the bevel. and rotate your body. Not your arms. Then you can bring it down. just about that point and then we'll measure it and make sure we're not too deep. <laughs> 